Hi everyone, I'm your host, Alan Pan. I'm a 19 year old college student at Old Dominion University. I'm also a manager at Pan Express. I wanted to make this today's video to show you how I went from a kitchen help all the way to a manager position. And I got promoted when I was 18 years old. I wanted to tell y'all that because it's amongst the small percentage of people that get promoted to management position before 20 years old. I wanted to give y'all some knowledge of what I did and how it may be able to help y'all. So let's get straight to the video, y'all. All right, the number one thing I have on my list is communication. If you worked a job before, you know how important it is for a manager to communicate effectively. If they didn't communicate effectively, then you probably didn't work that job for too, too long. And why I bring that up is because my manager, when I first started at Pain Express, he had a very good sense of communication. I picked that up and I always greeted people, always treated everybody with great communication skills and built a relationship up because of that. And communication isn't just something that's really important in the workplace. It's something that you should do well in life, communicating. If you learn how to communicate effectively in life, it could change your whole life around. But that's one thing I did. I communicated very effectively in interviews, everyone I talked to in the workplace. And that's one of the key traits in being a good manager. The next thing I had on my list is being a workaholic. You have to work hard in order to become a manager. You can't just be that person that just gets enough done. If everybody was like that, nobody would be getting promoted to manager. And you have to be proactive. You're always looking for areas where you can grow at. You're trying to improve yourself constantly. So for example, when I was at Pan Express, I used to help the front out time and time, but my job is only to help the back out. Man, I hate this job, man. I'm out of here. Alrighty, and your total is going to be $9.97, sir. Will you be paying cash or credit? What a dumb question. Of course I'm paying credit. Huh. Lovely, sir. I hope you enjoy the sandwich. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Man, shut up, sandwich boy. Thank you, sir. But I eventually learned the front because I helped the front out on the counter help and I was doing the kitchen help as well. So once you're a workaholic, the managers, the other managers above you, they would notice what you're doing. You're always working hard. You're always trying to improve yourself. If you're always looking for opportunities where you're able to grow at and you're working harder than everyone else around you. That's just going to give you another step closer to being promoted to the next level. The third thing I had on my list is that you have to have manager presence. And that doesn't mean you have to appear as a manager. You don't have to always tell other people what they're supposed to do. You just have to lead by example or just stand out amongst your peers. For me, for example, me becoming a manager at 18, that's mostly unheard of. You don't really see managers my age. So what I had to do to get to that level is I led by example. I always was being proactive. That goes back to my last thing that I just said. Being proactive, I'm always working hard. I'm always the one that's moving the faster, getting everything done and always trying to learn something. Also, leadership presence or manager presence is when you just come in a room or you're walking around, someone can look at you and think like, okay, they're the person that's probably in charge or they know something and people will mostly ask you for help. So if you're working at the job now, everyone is asking you for help. It's probably a sign that you should probably get promoted to the next step. The second and last thing I had on my list is being a problem solver and having a higher IQ than others around you. You have to be efficient in what you do and you have to be able to solve problems because of that. So what I did is I always multitask, I was, was proactive, I always managed my time correctly when I was in the workplace. So people saw that I was a good problem solver. I always got my stuff done and I always try to do more than what I'm supposed to do because I already solved my problems. You also be, have to be smart about what you do because once you get to a manager position, you have to be smart. You know how to run the business or you know exactly what your job is to do certain things. If you're not thinking correctly with your mind and if you're not problem solving, there's no way you're going to get to management. But if you're able to solve all the things around you and then some and help those around you solve their problems, then management is for you in the future. The last and final thing I have to say about becoming a manager is you need luck and you need opportunity. But the luck is only a very small thing compared to the whole opportunity itself. So what I mean by this is, for example, when I became a manager at Pan Express, beforehand, I'm kind of lucky because I had prior Chinese restaurant experience. Stay down, somebody. Rockstar every metal. Oh, I 
got five, so I'm gonna make it better. At the same time, though, I'm the one that gave the opportunity to myself at the end of the day because I chose to work at Pan Express knowing that I worked at a Chinese restaurant with prior experience. So I already was ahead of my class in that field of working. Mind you, though, I was never a manager at my mom's restaurant. I just worked counter to counter. I was just multitasking and working. But what I mean by this is whatever field you're looking to get promoted in, you have to know what skill set you already have and what type of expertise you already have. If you're not really good at a certain thing, like say if you're just a new nurse, you won't expect to become a management position at like a nursing firm or for example, like a tech company. You gotta have skill sets already built up. That's why when people hire managers directly, they want people with certain uh, qualifications already done. And that's the lucky part. You just get all the luck out the way and you just take the opportunities that are given to you and you make the most out of them. So. The next time you apply for a job or look to get promoted, think about what you have as a person and your expertise. If you're not already ahead, then work to be ahead. Put the extra time in so that you're recognized as a person with high potential. Hey man, thank y'all for watching this video today, man. I really hope y'all all learned something. And if you're just tuning in, thank you for the support. I really do appreciate y'all. And we're, I'm hoping for success for all of us coming into the future. That being said, y'all stay blessed, man. Peace.